A Robbinsdale family is helping the environment and the local community. Reporter Sonia Goins goes in the garden to show us what they are doing. You look up and down the street and it's all green lawns until you get to my house. You won't have a hard time distinguishing Patty Paulson's yard in Robbinsdale from her neighbors. Oh, this is flax and then some brown-eyed Susans and a little artemisia. The front yard looks like a nature center. When I bought this house, there was no garden here at all. It was all grass. The environmentalist is passionate about protecting the earth. Right now, our environment, we are in so much trouble in this world because of the chemicals that are being used, because there isn't food for pollinators. Over the years, she kept adding more and more pollinator-friendly plants, milkweed, coneflower, and tall cup plants. It's called a cup plant because the leaves stay attached at the stem and it forms little cups that collect rainwater. The master gardener also included some of her favorite self-seeding herbs. We use herbs medicinally, but I made some tea for you to try today. Patty and her daughter share their garden by offering free plants to the community. It helps us in that we are kind of weeding. <laughs> and we have extra pots, oh. but then it also helps because, well, it's nourishing our community. Patty is also an artist, and her garden is a canvas. Like this lady here was a, an angel with wings, and she had a trumpet, and someone discarded her, so I took all the lights off and took off her wings, and I attached little ribbons to kind of be a pride symbol. And here's something you don't typically see in a garden. I started a series of bowling balls where I take the bowling ball and I resurface it. She scores a strike with this one. This pennies, one's just like... covered in pennies. Patty hopes others will sow seeds and create their own garden oasis. I want them to feel inspired to do the same. I want to see more of this here. For In the Garden, Sonia Goins, CCX News.